Look good, feel good. That's the key to life. Go down in the link in the description and get your merchandise today. Use code MVP10 for 10% off your order from today through August 2nd. We got fresh and fly gear, every single flavor, t-shirts, v-necks, hoodies, leggings for the ladies. Anything that you need is down in the link in the description. Shout out to all the MVPs. Roll to 10K. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we got some Madden 22 tips to help you get in right away for solos or online head to head and dominate. We're going to go over the best man and zone beaters to use in the game as soon as you get it and also the best playbook to give you the best opportunity to win. But if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on and also shout out to the MVP elites. First MVP is Nick Morello. We got Big H Gamer, Dexter Panita, and Raymond Edwards. Let's get into today's bang. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. Uh, when you first get into the game, if you want to go online and you want to have the best opportunity to have an edge up on your opponent, you want to use the Patriots offensive playbook. They're going to have the gun bunch, they're going to have the trips tight end, they're going to have the wide off trips packs, and plus they have a lot of small formations where you can put more tight ends and extra fullbacks in to beef up your line because the run game is going to be very, very important. So the first thing we're going to do is come out in the trips tight end, and then we're going to set our audibles. We have inside cross, we have the quick base, we have PA, counter go, and pets Y post okay so we're going to come out and double in sell so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go against cover three we're going to put x on the flat okay we're going to put y on the hitch and then we're just going to motion him across now when you on the new gen you can't cover three and four routes at one time so all you have to do is make your reads he falls right in that spot right there nothing crazy and you take a five yard pass and you turn it into a 20 to 25 yard game. If you wanna play the game very, very smart and you wanna have a winning record, make sure that you are controlling the clock, number one, and make sure that you are patient with your offense. You know what you wanna do and it's up to you to execute, okay? The only way that the defense has a chance to stop you with the plays and schemes that I'm gonna give you is if you don't execute. So we're gonna put X on the smoke screen. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna put Y on a quick hitch and we're gonna bring him over. And then we're gonna do another play to show you. So we're gonna hike it right before he gets to that 30. We're looking for the running back. He falls down in there. They ran like the same defense three or four different times. And you can see, we almost turned that upfield for a touchdown. All right, so this time we're gonna set it up different. We're gonna streak our A, we're gonna streak our B, we're gonna put Y in a slant with that same motion, and then we're gonna have our smoke screen. Okay, so we're gonna look at the running back first, then we're gonna come from the back side and we're gonna look at the slant. So right at the 30, we're gonna see the running back, he gets enough room right there on the linebacker. That's enough separation. We're gonna take that pass every single time. All right, so now we're gonna mix it up a little bit with a different motion so he can't get used to the play. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our tight end, put him on the in route. We're gonna keep the corner from the B receiver and we're gonna motion him and we're gonna streak the Y receiver, okay? So now we're gonna look at the running back and then come back across the field for either the A underneath or the corner route by B a little deeper. And we got Y as somebody to run off the coverage. So we're gonna go right here to the 30. So we got running back, we got underneath that we can hit, but then right behind that, we have this route developing. And then you can juke somebody and get right into the end zone very, very easy. Okay, so let's look at the replay real quick and see how that develops. So you've been hitting your opponent underneath. That's going to keep him from putting the 25-yard clouds and all that on the field. That's going to make him suck down into your game plan, okay? So he's going to start having 10 yards and 5 yards. His user is going to be looking on that right side, starting to try to cheat over. So we're going to come. We're going to motion him out. So we got the running back out the backfield. So he's covering him real good. You can maybe get 2 yards, okay? So now we have the tight end right here he could be wide open hopefully they don't put a spot on the field he can be wide open right there and then boom this is always your last check down he's playing on him pretty good he's stretching the defense he has him all the way deep he has him going all the way deep he has a respected and then we have this backside corner 
perfect route right there. A chance for a touchdown. Okay, so we're going to run that concept one more time. So we're going to put him on the end. We're going to streak him. We're going to put him on the smoke screen. They have to respect the high, low read. So you have three low check downs. Then you have a wide going vertical that's pulling the defense back. If they make the wrong adjustment, he will be wide open down the seams. And then we have this motion in the back right here. Okay, so this is something that you just want to pull off after you've been running the play a couple times. You're going to take your quick four to five yards if you still want to dink and dunk. But if you want to go deep, you're going to have the other route also. So we're going to streak him, smoke screen. It's going to look just like that. We got the corner route. We got the streak. We got the short end by the tight end. And now we're motioning over this guy. Okay, so you can see him dropping down, hike it right there at the 30. And boom, right behind that route is him. Now we can juke, run somebody over, get down to the two, three yard line. Then you go into your red zone and punch it in. We're going to come out in our base play, which is double in sale. Okay. And we're going to go against cover two random. We're going to do random cover two. So we don't know what kind of cover two they plan. Okay. So for this play, what I like to do is take my X receiver and I like to just put him on a go route. Take any kind of blue all the way down the field. If they mess up their zone adjustments, he's going to be wide open, but we're not going to even be looking at him. We're looking to attack the corners now. At first, he was thinking of all the short passes. Now, we want to be able to go over the top. His user is cheating. He's putting spies on the defensive line. He's looking 10 yards and in front of him. So now we can go down the field exactly like we want to. I like to put my B on either leave him on the corner route or put him on a zig or put him on a hitch. They all work. And then I like to slant my Y. Okay, and with your base play, everything is all set up. Now, we will go further into the playbook when the game comes out. You want to hike it right here, stay in the pocket, and boom, you can see A all the way to the corner for an easy, easy touchdown. That didn't take any kind of effort. You knew exactly what you wanted to do. You knew he wanted to cover two. You knew that you've been dinking and dunking, so your opponent is adjusting to your small routes. He's making all these adjustments, and once he over-adjusts, now you can hit them for the 20 to 25 yard bomb. So one more time, we're gonna streak our Y. We're gonna put our B in any kind of rope. We're gonna put our Y in a slant and we're gonna motion him over. And right before he gets to the 30, we're gonna come down. We're gonna go running back out the backfield. Then we're gonna look at A. You can see A already. As soon as he makes that cut, he's right there at the end zone. Let's look at this replay and then end this video off. Now we're gonna go more into depth with more and more videos. Drop a like if y'all enjoy this small taste of how the breakdowns is gonna be. So this replay walkthrough is gonna tell you everything that you need to know. We know he's running cover two, but if you see that your opponent is running cover two, First, I'm gonna show you the replay on how the safeties move. So hike the ball, both of the safeties go backwards at the same time and they spread out, okay? So if it was cover three, one of them safeties would drop down to the line of scrimmage or toward the line of scrimmage and then one would go straight back at an angle. So now we're gonna come to the quarterback and you can see, I hike the ball, my first read is the running back. The running back is not open, but being that that guy is so close to my running back, that puts a smile on my face and let me know that the tight end is going to be wide open. But also, once we hike the ball, the running back, if you've been hitting this route a couple of times, on the corner, he's going to make adjustments. He's going to put 25 and 30 yard flats and he's going to start messing up his zones. So you have the tight end and right there, no bump at the line of scrimmage. You can see that free release over there. Boom. You can throw this right here to the sidelines. Right there. When he passes him, he can't react and turn around and go full speed. You can throw that right there to the sidelines. It's so much open green with a little bit of accuracy. That's an easy touchdown. Okay? So also, if we look on this side over here, now we go, we stay in the pocket. You don't want to run out of the pocket for unnecessarily. We stay in the pocket, and now you can see that slant is wide open. You can low ball this right here if you want to be risky, but then you have the tight end that you want to pass lead to the outside right there. Catch it. Turn up the field. Easy, easy touchdown. If y'all rocking with me, I got y'all. Let's get it.